my name is Claire McKinnell and I'm a biology teacher at Eton College. I've just been asked to answer a couple of questions related to what life is like for a teacher for anyone interested in finding out. Uh, so obviously my job primarily involves uh, teaching biology, but I also help in a boarding house and as a resident tutor, I coach various uh, sports teams through the three terms too. I also play the role of a, an academic tutor for, for two different year groups with six boys in each group. So that's looking out for them academically, but also pastorally. Um, each week, it seems at school, you know, there are new opportunities and responsibilities that crop up. And it's quite amazing how much you really can cram into one week at school, which I'm sure you're all aware of too. So day to day, I teach GCSE and A-level biology, and I work closely with colleagues in my department to try and provide the best teaching that we can. Uh, so we order schemes of work, um, order in equipment to the, the, the science um, faculty through the technicians and so on. I also currently uh, study for a master's in education alongside my full time job, which just means lots of research and writing in the holidays. Uh, I left university thinking of graduate entry medicine, and I found that um, I found a job that sought to care for lots of different people, both young and old. Um, so I ended up working for a church in Seven Oaks, and I got involved in youth work, uh, work in schools, care homes, summer camps, and um, so on. Uh, but it was the work in schools that I particularly enjoyed, having loved the time at school myself. So I enjoyed my degree, which was biological sciences. And I thought it was a great combination, combining uh, young people and my love of science um, to sort out a career path for the future. So I did my PGCE at Cambridge as I was living there at the time and my placements were at two different schools. One was a village college and the other an academy and these experiences were great. They gave me a good taste of what working uh, within schools would be like, so working within a team, rushing around, trying new things in the classroom, uh, getting things wrong and improving, meeting lots of different people, getting to know and care for lots of uh, different groups of young people as well and uh, it also just introduced me to uh, the roots that teaching provides so both pastoral roots um, or their, their kind of more academic head of department roots or some sort of combination of both and when it came to applying for jobs in January I thought about staying in the academy school that I was at because I really enjoyed it but I just looked online on the TES website that's basically a website where teachers can go and look for new jobs and I found my current job advertised and, and the role um, uh, stuck out to me because it offered um, uh, lots of sport as well as boarding, uh, both things that I really enjoy. So, yes, that's my progression so far. In terms of skills related to the post, um, obviously, skills such as subject knowledge, uh, communication, teamwork, time management, enthusiasm, they're all very important. But the less obvious skills that I think are also important um, are knowing how to, to balance your time and energy um, and therefore knowing how much capacity um, you have for one day. And I'm definitely still learning how to strike that balance um, about, you know, when or whether to take on new responsibilities or to say no and hold back. Um, there are just skills that uh, you learn as you go, for example, uh, writing reports, chatting to parents, responding to emails, working with different characters, thickening your skin as you confront disruptive behavior or you just feel nervous to speak in front of large groups of people. Um, other trivial skills or just things uh, that I've learned along the way um, is, is to always say yes to uh, the free school food, uh, to always wear comfortable shoes, seeing as you're on your fetal day and to, to just spend time with, with colleagues that are positive um, so that you, you yourself stay positive and keep things in perspective. Um, at school, I studied biology, chemistry and English. Um, I dropped French AS, no matter how much um, I believed in the uh, growth mindset. And regardless of the help of all of my uh, French rural teachers, um, my French accent just never improved. So I dropped that. Uh, but then I went to University of Warwick to study biological sciences. I played lots of hockey, generally had a lovely time. Um, and I think if you're thinking of teaching and you know which subject you'd like to teach, then uh, I'd go and uh, study that subject to university, um, probably because, uh, you know, you'll be researching relevant and current material that you can just bring into your teaching practice. Uh, it gives you a few years post school as well to um, uh, to become a bit older than the kids that you're about to teach. Um, however, I think if you're keen on primary school teaching, then you can study um, things like early childhood studies, 
as an undergraduate or, or even a, a postgraduate as a master's, and that could be very productive. Um, I know a few friends that have done that and they, they've, they've really enjoyed it, um, or perhaps maybe a more hardcore route than the PGCE um, uh, once you've graduated is, is teach first, so that's something to look at, or other forms of teaching on the job whilst being paid. Uh, so in terms of typical working hours, uh, I don't think I can speak uh, typically because my school is a boarding school of over 1300 pupils. Um, I'm involved in the classroom, the house, sports pitches, I run STEM projects um, and I get involved in various after school clubs, which uh, here we call societies. And we teach on Saturdays. Um, you know, I work quite a few hours um, uh, in the week and, and realistically use a number of my evenings every week to, to plan lessons, to mark the work um, and just to do general school duties. I count the hours, but I, it's a bit depressing to give a number. So um, I, I use the holiday hours, um, I count them as well to balance it out. It's a bit feast and famine in term and holiday time. But uh, I know friends uh, from my PGCE who work in day schools. So they get in perhaps a bit earlier than I do. So they get in at about 7.30 in the morning, which might sound very early to you. Um, uh, they try to leave by 5 p.m. having completed all of their uh, marking and uh, everything that they need to do for the next day or for a few days time. Uh, so that's probably a better representation of time. However, people just use their time differently, uh, but the holidays are definitely needed, uh, despite the, the stick that you receive from other people of having so much holiday. Websites to recommend. So the TES website that I mentioned, uh, that's, uh, that's a very good website looking for um, jobs in particular, but also they've got resources and they've got different articles that people have written um, and interesting things on there. Generally, the educational supplement in newspapers and the UCAS website has very good why choose teaching uh, page to give you lots of information, as does the, the government's national careers service page. Um, actually, I was just looking through that page um, and found that there are quite a few other teaching jobs uh, that, that show the variety um, teaching um, provides. So, you know, art gallery cur curators, cycling coaches, education technicians, museum curator, online tutors. That's pretty lucrative. Schools for life teachers, teacher assistants, youth workers, British sign language teachers and so on. So there's lots of different um, uh, creative uh, roles there rather than just the kind of standard subject teacher. Um, in terms of work experience, after your final exams, it could be a great idea just to ask to shadow one of your teachers for the day and jot down a load of questions uh, to bombard them with. You know, what do they enjoy about the job? What's uh, not so good about the job? Where do they want to be in another 10 years time of teaching? Uh, what one thing would make their job better? What piece of advice would they have valued knowing before they start out as a teacher? Ask them all these really difficult questions, make them think. Uh, but having just left school yourselves, or maybe you're coming to the end of your school career, you may want to wait a year or so and overlap the start of your university holidays with the last weeks of the school term. Um, even though I personally knew I wanted to be a secondary school teacher, I still shadowed some primary school teachers for a week in September just to see what it's like for a year six coming into year seven. But it turns out children change quite a lot in one school year. So it ended up being more helpful for me to confirm that I wouldn't have the patience, creativity or care uh, to work with those tiny kids. And then my final piece of advice to anyone interested in a career of education is just to keep in touch with your current teachers. So my old biology teacher in the sixth form was so encouraging to me when I let her know that I was keen to give it a go. She even wrote my reference for my PGCE and my first job. And this interview um, has actually prompted me firstly to say thank you to her, but also to see if I could nab some of her resources, but we'll see if her kindness extends to that. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I wish you all the best for what's to come. Um, if anyone would like any more advice or maybe even work experience, then feel free to get in touch. I'm sure we can arrange something.